telling you, this is how we become good guys. This is this is this is how it starts. This is how we get a reputation of saving townspeople and all sorts of things. For the highest bidder. That wasn't the highest bidder. He had to We made money, didn't we? There was no bidding! There was no bidding! Nobody bid! Sure, he bid for his life with his dead knives and his coins. Oh my soul. <laughs> my soul. Anyway. Let's go. Anyway. <sighs> Alright, what do you guys do? What do we do? It's all question. We're going back to... Yeah, you lead the way there, right? Yes, the little lady, right? Yeah, let's go talk to Nella. Yeah. Right, let's do that. She's peaky. She might not like me because no. I broke her tape. Yeah. yeah. Alright, you go inside. Um, you're now between the lunch and the dinner rush. Okay, uh, that's time. Uh, they're basically, no one's really in there for dinner yet. The tavern has much calmer demeanor. Uh, there's not the a lot of people sitting there. Um, what about that hat of a uh, bard? The hat of the bard is not visible. You do not see him in there right now. Uh, Nilla is cleaning off tables as you're standing there. She has a stack of plates, knives, forks, spoons, and cups on her one hand as she's wiping down a table with the other. As she looks over at you guys, says, Please don't kill any more innocent tables. <laughs> Poor tables. No. <laughs> I'm sure I deserved it. A gentleman I know named Pandas is in love with tables. <laughs> they hold his booze. They're very supportive. They're very, no, that's chairs. Oh, and, that's chairs. And benches. Chairs. What, what, what do you need? You know, Kabar I, told I, us, I, told me that you'd be coming back. I don't know what they look like. You? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for any information you have about these gentlemen. Give a description that. I remember vaguely from seeing them, kind of, from the overhearing at least. We'll gather information check. That'll, mm. that'll help the description. Ooh, 21. Yes. Oh, the, the, the pricks that didn't tip at the third table from in? Oh, no. Yes, uh, they're, they're in here quite frequently. They have most of their meals in here, at least in midday. Uh... That would be, uh, I didn't know two of them, but Elman was the, the third. Uh, Elman? <coughs> Elman, yes, the, the one with the, uh, with the, the uh, lame leg. Lame leg, okay. What, what do you need them for? They're just two-bit thugs. Oh, of course. Well, that's why I, I, I they, they, they muttered something about my dwarven friend. We're just not too keen on it, but we, we didn't want to cause a bigger scene. We understand how it is. Well, business, we'll kneecap uh, him here. outside. Well, yeah, but, you know. <clears throat> I didn't just give you that information to cause violence. No, of no. course not. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. no we, we want to make sure that we don't get ambushed by them because they're, 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 they're giving my dwarven friend side eye. And you see, uh, see uh, from the way he is, he's someone you don't want to deal with up front. I'm concerned that they're going to try to do something behind his back. So I want to just make sure that I know what I'm dealing with. But I, I promise you, we will not do anything here. And in fact, um, I think we'll probably step outside for a minute. I, I, I gotta collect my thoughts. Get the stuff in here. I, I, I need a moment. I need a moment. It's uh, understandable. <laughs> I'm relief. A gesture at you. I step out. Uh, okay. We're gonna go step up. And I left the oven on. <laughs> I jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> there are many windows on the table. No, no, that was referencing future Nice. Alright, you two go outside. Lame leg. Yeah, lame leg. What if we could find if we could find where uh Elman's uh, uh if he has uh, anything for like a cane or anything else, like a, a possession of his for our friend to scribe. Hmm. Hmm. That's good. Hmm. Hmm. And I believe that is in your Repertoire <laughs> acquiring such uh, things. What? I don't get it. No. I don't think that is. Uh, no. I'm drinking inside. I really don't think What's that up? finding I'm things drinking. is my forte. She, uh, oh, I could find a thing, but would you be able to she gather She pours anything? you a oh, little bit. Oh, gathering <laughs> things. Gathering Kavar important things. Kavar said you may have three a day on the house. This is one. Only three? He said three. That's all right. He still owes me five pieces of furniture. I'll bring you another one! And she immediately just brings you a second cup. <laughs> but yes, gathering important things that are not belonging to me, but really are important to what we are doing, and therefore we should have them, and they should not. Oh, this, are... this is a thing that I am good 
good ones. Okay, so let me need something to verify. Okay, so what are you guys doing? I am going to see if I can locate. Okay, now I got to... Did he have um, any kind of uh, walking stick or any kind of anything with his, uh, with them that I might remember? You did not notice anything like that. Okay. Um, any super defining objects on him? Uh, I would say apparel, jewelry, <laughs> furniture, tools, uh, weapons, uh, 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 cloak. Steal his stuff. I mean, yeah, he was wearing recognizable clothes. You would recognize him again if you saw it, but like nothing that you couldn't just buy at a bazaar or a tailor. Uh, nothing, you cannot look back and say, oh, that he is the guy that wears that. No. Okay. Nothing. So now that I can locate on him, basically. Right. Got it. Well, where are you guys talking right now? You guys outside. are outside and they're inside. They're inside, yeah. yeah. What are you guys doing inside? Drinking. Yeah, drinking. Something. You find Dragon Ball, what are you doing? Oh, I die, I die, I die, I die, I die, I die. I guess I'm drinking. I guess I'm drinking ale. I'm in an ale house. Everybody over there is following the mouse. This, this yeah. skimpy Our guy that yeah. didn't yeah. tip you earlier. Really I was worried that yes. she's gonna be all, hey. Does he work? Mm. I wouldn't call what he does work. What does he do? I believe he's part of. I believe he's part of Elwyn's gang. Elwyn? Yes. Where's Elwyn? I have no idea and I don't care to know. Okay, I'll take my last L to go. You got road beers now? Who can put it in a doggy bag? How does that work? Hi. Oh, well, right. Now I have to get yelled at for the cup. I can't have that count as one of my five. Never mind. I'll say that one for later. <laughs> <laughs> she goes over to the other side of the bar where there's a dark dwarf that's just passed out on the bar with his feet soaking in half of a keg of ale and just kind of lifts him up, makes sure he's still breathing, and puts him back down. I wander outside to you guys. So this dude <laughs> is part of... Uh, Hi, sorry, I was just Elson's gang? Elwyn. Elwyn's gang. If you guys want to ask around about this gang, we can work that out. That was the same as, uh... Who the fuck was that? Hmm? Who the fuck is Elwyn? We just talked about it. Elwyn's the gimpy guy. Oh, is that... There Elman. was two names. Elman. Nope. Elman? Did he give us the wrong name? Elman. Uh, I'm sorry. Elman. Elman yeah. is the gimpy guy. Elman. Elwyn. Elwyn is the gang, the gang leader. leader. Is the gang leader. So, so he's part of a gang, and if the gang is any kind of notoriety, we're gonna be able to track him down that picture. <sighs> well, I could I could try to look around and see if I could uh, speak then to somebody. Then I'm We could yeah. we could send maybe somebody that they don't hate. We how about we just guard? But if we, yeah, we just talk to our ass. Oh yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, you probably shouldn't go near the guard house. Uh, I'll go for it. Yeah, I like that. You're the quiet one. And you know, and you know, probably don't remember me. I was just we 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 met them. You're also probably the most normal of this. No, and we can make it more uh, casual. I'll actually go and try to get this permit. Ah, yes, Mm, permits. Oh, yeah, permits. I mean, serious, right? (laughs) I didn't say I was going to. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just establishing. (laughs) I just need to. Alright, nine, nine, nine. And I'll hang out here in case this guy comes back for dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna watch you like a fucking hawk. <laughs> okay, so who does what? I'm staying with the dwarf. Okay, you two are staying with the tavern. I'm waiting at the tavern, drinking, waiting for this guy to come back. He's buying. He doesn't okay. have any money. Oh, I know. <laughs> Do we know where the guardhouse is? Uh, a simple gather information will find that out. I have Almost everyone who lives here spell. does. <laughs> or we can literally ask our little friend. Hey, by the way, uh, do you know where the guardhouse is? I'm supposed to go get a permit. Oh, absolutely. And she tells where the guardhouse okay. is. Okay. She marks the location on your map. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Exclamation point. Quest yeah. marker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send an arrow. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, follow the blue line. Oh, All shit. Right. There's something on my eyeballs. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so you two are staying. You two are going to the guardhouse. What are you doing? <laughs> do you want company, or am I going to scare everyone? I guess I'll hang with the dwarf. And sure oh, yeah, with all that disdain in your voice, I guess I'm staying with the dwarf and the half. To make sure he doesn't kill us. Wait, did they just leave the three rejects at home? <laughs> yep. 
All right. Somehow I became an the responsible person. one. I... All right. The re rejects. Uh, you stay at the tavern. Mm-hmm. And. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! The stop watch group. reset itself, so somebody else has to tell me uh, how long we've been going for. Uh, I have no idea what we're Seventy-five started. minutes. That's my count. Seventy-five minutes. I don't know. That might be wrong. That's very wrong. I don't think we've been it's doing this be session for seventy-five. It's minutes. We stopped the last one around nine. Ten thirty-three. Oh my god! Wow. Okay. Do so you want a quick pause and then come back and finish? No, uh, we will we'll take care of these two things. Okay. So you guys go to the guardhouse. Yeah. Cows. All right. Uh. You two find it without incident. You're at the guardhouse. <laughs> without incident. <laughs> All right, uh, oh, oh, well, let's well, up and... You approach the guardhouse. It's a huge stone building in kind of like a U shape. To go in, you're actually going under the overhang of the guardhouse. And as you walk underneath it, you look up and you can see the trap door. That if somebody tried to storm this building, they could dump oil down on you. Or possibly sneak out at night to meet a special lady. As you finish walking in, you find yourself in a large green courtyard. The grass mostly trampled from practice <coughs> sessions. Uh, you being, and it's kind of like, not so much militaristic, but even where you were before, your daily training, you recognize this. The pelicans out there that people are using for uh, target practice... The archery uh, circles that people are using for target practice. Uh, things like that out in the courtyard. And of course, the front door is a large double door with steel beams that is wide open. And a gentleman sitting behind the desk right at the door, asleep. Does he look familiar? No. Okay. Uh, go, go, go ahead. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not super... Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and knock on the desk. Ah! 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 Mm! Yes, mm, yes. Mm-hmm. <coughs> How can I help? How can I help you? Yeah, we uh, we uh, just got in a bit ago. We got a permit. Possible for you or maybe what? Mm, absolutely, something or somebody. Somebody? Why are you looking for somebody? Mm. Well, I mean, uh, I should probably just get this permit done first. Permits? Yep. Yes, I'm an expert at permits. From second. No, absolutely. Uh, yes, um, yes, marriage license? No, we're, we're looking for a, uh, performance permit, Oh, actually. performance permit, uh, uh, hmm, license to kill, I'll keep that one. Hmm. <laughs> Copy that. Uh, <laughs> magic uses permit. <laughs> yeah, I know, who heard of such a thing? Uh, uh Oh, pyrotechnics permit? No, no, what? Do you I'll, need a I'll pyrotechnics permit? I'll take two. Oh, uh, pyrotechnics permit, we'll get that one. Ah! Bardic permit, we have it right here, right here, yes, yes. All right, all right. Uh, what one moment. That, what does that come out to? Uh, uh, I really like ink. <laughs> uh, sorry! I'm back! Yes, pyrotechnics and performer's permit. How many in your troop? Uh, five. So five? All right, so five? How do you spell that? S E F V S four E. E four. I'm gonna say two. Plus some. Good, good. Good. Uh, Wonderful. Type of performance? Uh,. Spectacle. We, we're performing a spectacle. Special. Special. <laughs> Special. And oh. the pyrotechnic license? Um, <coughs> the big one. Yes. Oh! <laughs> I'll check off <laughs> the third box. Grand spectacle. Oh! <laughs> It'll be quite a show. You no. don't want to miss it. Uh, it looks to be in order. I will simply need to remember your faces. Fair enough. Um, say, is, uh, is is there a chance we can go into the guardhouse? Is is the captain around? Captain, Captain Kyer? Yeah. Captain. Ky- Kyer is, um, <coughs> so last night they bought in a box that could eat things, and, um, Captain's been awake for quite some time. Ah. Uh, I can wake him if you need it. Do you do you need Kyer? Um, I mean, do you happen to know where Elsa is? 
Reaches into a desk drawer and brings out a big handful of nuts. Yeah. Or, oh, or, or the the Elwin gang. Um. Oh, those fuckers! <laughs> you know, hold on. You wait right here. You need this. Don't forget to pay me. And he hands you two uh, things. By the way, uh, S five or whatever. He's just scribbled shit on here. Yeah, that's but you fine. can see I that can they're it later. They are pre-signed, uh, Captain Polis Kyer. Uh, he stumbles over into a back room, and you hear a cracking noise. As, as he's uh, yeah. doing that, I, I grab a few more of the permits out of the desk. You grab literally a stack <laughs> of permits. Uh, in your hand <laughs> is a bounty hunter's <laughs> permit, pre-signed. Uh, that was what he was talking about when it was uh, licensed to kill. Uh, you'll find a bounty hunter's permit, uh, and uh, a land permit giving you permission to buy land in this city. Okay. He comes back out. You heard a cracking noise. Uh, he has taken part of what you could only assume was once a message board because he couldn't figure out how to get the wanted posters off of it. And he stumbles back into the room and puts it down on the desk. Is this the one you're looking for? And you recognize the gentleman from the table, uh, Omen. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, He's... Can, can I take this? You take that and you bring it back with him. Oh, He's no worth worries. 500 gold. Ooh. Yeah, but Ooh. you have to have a reason because he keeps being okay. I don't like that. Why not if it's dead or alive? What? No, it's on, it's on okay. the wanted poster. Yeah, it's on the wanted poster and it's 100% alive. <laughs> no worries, that's my jam. Yeah, this, is, this is not like for general public. This is the captain's personal... Uh, these people are fucktards, and if you can prove they're fucktards, that'd be great, because he, I'm not supposed to show this to you. No, absolutely oh, not. I'm not supposed to show this to you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I need to Where get a hammer. Where did you get hammer. that marker? Huh? Where did the, you get that marker? The pen? Yeah. I mean, the quill? The marker. It's I, still a pen. It oh. marks things. It's a marker. It's a... Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, anyway, where might we start looking for this gentleman? Oh, he's probably some fucking place. I would just look for because he walks like an asshole. He puts one foot and then he drags, and then he puts one and then he drags. Look for that. Okay. That's what you. That's how. That's how. <coughs> the, the, there's this woman who's really in a. She's a. She, uh, that's how she finds him. I think she's a professor. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. We must be on our way. Who? Thank you. <coughs> oh, no! Anything. How did you guys get the wanted posters? No, no, no. We, 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 we found them on the street. I, right, oh, we, we brought these in. We were wondering if you we knew about him so that we could thank go you. and find him. I go repair this. I wish I knew Mending. Okay. And he walks away. So, <laughs> we just seriously oh, caught somebody that walks on a limp and asshole. <laughs> I walk with a limp. All right, I'm guys, guys, I'm an just, asshole. Just making what notes. Okay. I, I don't think we're gonna get anything out of doing this guy any more favors. Okay. There I, we go. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, he walks into the back room. You hear a thud and snoring. Alright. Do we, we make our way back? Do we pursue yeah. or do we go back? Uh, Let's go back. Let's, uh. <clears throat> We can try scouting for him without uh, engaging. No? You know, yeah. just because <laughs> you're Excuse a ranger, me. you have the tracking skill. So if you can find any kind of. You might be able to pick up his trail somewhere. That's what he is dragging. He's, he's dragging his leg, he's got to just make his walk. Mm. Yes. Looks uh, like we could see uh, some poor pattern of footprints. You, you, with your. Now that you know what you're looking for. You think if you could find the trail, you would recognize the trail. The tough part is going to be finding the trail in the first place. In the city with a bunch of people. Right. But you think you could track it if it was 
soon enough after he left. Do we know if he do we know if he went by recently? He did, right? <coughs> I have the I've mentioned something I, that, that's not what I can respond to I'm sorry I can't respond to that mm. we're not here that's yeah, we're not he, yeah, right. he, he was at the tavern recently yeah. but I mean it's already been a while it's like a meal has passed mm. a meal has passed at a tavern I don't know I don't know we're standing around you could definitely you could definitely try see if we can find something yeah I mean I think for now let's uh Let's head back with the with the tavern. Uh, at the very least, we have an image of what he looks like. Spot check of thirty. Spot check of thirty. So you walk out of the uh, thing. Yeah. You are looking at the ground while you look at everything else. Uh, you cannot find tracks that match uh, what you're talking about, but you do notice something else with the thirty. Um, yes, there's been a lot of foot traffic through here. There are strange footprints on the ground outside of this building. Uh, there has most definitely been a battle here recently with something with unshoed lizard-like feet. In fact, you recognize the footprints uh, somewhat from how your dragon friends walked, but small. And since you said it out loud, yes, you realize that they are cobalt tracks. Uh, that, that, by the way, for those of you who don't play with me as often, uh, if you guess something right, I will confirm or deny it in certain circumstances. Yes, they are definitely cobalt tracks. Um, but it's not the fact that the tracks are just there that is uh, surprising to you. Um, cobalts, and you've studied wild races, cobalts are a very common race. These are incredibly organized. There was an organized retreat that happened, and that is not like that race. This is a, a cobalt is a race of creatures that wait for an ambush. They don't attack, and if they attacked, they definitely wouldn't just, no, these cobalts attacked, and retreated in an organized fashion. Uh, and to you, that is very, very strange, considering what they are. But at that point, I put the stop on you guys, and I go back to the tavern. All right, in the tavern, you are sitting there. She has now brought you your fourth drink. She has stopped arguing with you about the price. You have not bought a single drink. He has claimed that you will be buying the drinks. You have told him that you are broke. She has gotten annoyed and just brought you more drinks. She is done with this shit. Have I been drinking as well? If you would like to be. Yeah. You have been yeah. drinking as well. Dragon Mark. I love you guys. Dwarf logic. Why? I drink it. I never let me do this Water. in the monastery. Water. I had to, I had to balance on one foot on my toes. And do hands. Did they ever make you learn how to like head? balance on your tail? Yes. That's interesting. They totally. Like did a kangaroo? Oh, uh, yeah. Three of you, spot check, drunk people minus four. Uh, which is, you're drunk, you're yeah. drinking. No, yeah. he's That's drunk, you're check. drinking. That's my spot check. <laughs> spot check. Um, which is a uh, perception, sorry guys. Uh, perception check. Seven. Seven? Uh, 15, I guess. Yep, total. 15? Okay. And mm, just, uh, oh, sorry. 15 minus four. 18. 18? Mm -hmm. uh, in the corner of the room, the slightest shimmer just caught your eye. Is it just him? Yep. Yeah, he's the only one who made it. <laughs> I need to do this more often. <laughs> <laughs> you two are still in character. Go ahead. Uh, it seem like a... What is this? This is awesome. Like a shimmer of light, like a reflection. It's L, friend. Oh! Spellcraft check. Now, when you do a spellcraft check, <laughs> add your level to the check. That is special for this campaign only. So 18 plus 6 plus 6, it's to 30. Yeah, 30. There is 100% an invisible creature in the corner of this room. I have to be careful or I'm going to get fat. <laughs> This is really good. And I could do it all the time. That's why I want to be a monk, because you know I don't have self-control, and I have to use one thing or the other way. And I, you know, it's one. It's, it's extreme. I remember what I'm saying. And you can go hey, what's up? You seem to be. Uh... Yes. That's exactly what you. Anyway, doing. how are you doing? I'm doing. Oh, okay. He's he's, he's normal. Huh? You're normal. You just, I, am, this, this I have just, a dwarf's constitution. This, this is just Tuesday for you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alkali. Yes. 
I am gonna look over to the direction of the of the shimmer that caught my eye. Okay. And I am going to cast glitter dust. Okay. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You had glitter dust memorized? Uh-huh. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. The two of you are sitting there. You see him stretch. Oh, la, 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 fan la, la, his la, la, fingers la. just like this. <laughs> and as he puts down his fingers, go ahead and cast your spell. And there's no roll, just, okay, just, yeah. just character cast. And I think we should all see what isn't seen over there. What? <laughs> Sparks fly from his hands, almost like a thousand fireflies filling the air, and all of a sudden they are stuck to a small draconian-like creature <coughs> who oh. looks down, looks up at you guys, and immediately is reaching for his belt. We go to initiative because yours was the surprise. Ta-da! 16. 16? So he's been glitter bombed, basically? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. he's been glitter bombed. Aha, craft her a piece. He is now rounds. fabulous. Yes, sir. Uh, six rounds. 19 plus... 22. Oh, sure. Uh-oh. Yeah, Uh-oh. That is an 8. Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, John Wilju, 16. Eight. And I'm sorry, I missed it. Uh, 22. Twitch was 22. 22. Twitch, you are first. Um, so you see Twitch level his hands, fireflies shoot out, and now there's a small draconian like figure standing in the corner of the room who is immediately reaching for something on his belt. I will. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Um, I have my staff. Um, oh, no, that's. I had a lot of air and <laughs> nonsense. I don't want anything to. Uh... <laughs> hey, the whole fucking tower's asleep. Ta da! <laughs> Ta! So he's first, right? Yeah. Yes. I may just have to uh, pull the sling out. And... Oh, you have six seconds. Uh, I'll just whip a dagger. Okay, you oh. pull a dagger uh, and throw it at the target. Can I say the HP, please? That's what I'm good at. All right, you throw a dagger. Go ahead. Uh, 15 plus 9. So That's a hit. Okay, and oh, goody for the. We have D3. <laughs> uh, that's a D6 divided by 2. Okay, uh, I lose. And I'll get you the D3 tomorrow. I do have a D3 somewhere. Uh, two, a one, one, minus one, because it's strength. Uh, you can't roll low, so, so it's also one. One. one point. Okay, you throw the dagger. Uh, you see that his hand was moving, uh, but his other hand was off to the side. You literally graze between two of the fingers. You could see the dagger sticking to the wall. But you cut him. You drew blood. Hey, the shiny is bleeding. <laughs> What? Tarvin, you had a 16 that's with your bonuses. Yeah. It's his turn. You see him finish reaching towards his belt and literally throw out his hand. Something that's covered in the glitter strikes the ceiling and you hear a cracking noise. For a moment, it sounds like the earth itself opened up. It is a loud banging noise as three boulders fall to the ground, damaging the floor itself. And each of these boulders slowly splits apart to have what resembles legs and arms, but no real head. We're uh, paying for that damage! Uh, Nilla immediately screams and runs to the other side of the bar where the other dwarf is fast passed out on the bar, grabs him by the shoulders, and with strength that you do not think a girl like this should have, uses more leverage than anything else, puts her feet on the bottom of the bar, and just leans back, pulling him forward, his feet coming up out of the fucking ale that he's been soaking his feet in, and dragging him behind the bar, and yells out as they're falling, TAKE HIS BOOTS! Uh, that will go to your turn. Take his boots? The boots are sitting next to the uh, half keg of ale that he's been soaking his feet in. Oh, the dwarf's boots. <laughs> Very um, <laughs> uh, since you mentioned them, I'm going to assume you look at them. Girl, quick perception check, only you. Hey, that's like um, a 20. They do not have laces. They have no way to be tightened. They are just solid leather boots. Pumps. Uh, right. Uh, I, this doesn't exist. They're just solid leather boots. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, your turn. Go ahead, John. Uh, Sorry, go ahead, Tarbin. Scorching ray on the little fairy thing. The thing that's glowing. Yeah. Gotcha. Scorching ray on the little fairy thing. I believe it's a plus four to hit because of glitter dusk. Uh, yeah. yeah it's I'll a range touch attack. Range touch attack plus four to hit. Go. So range touch attack is my dex plus. Dex plus base attack bonus. Yeah, that's good. Six, eight. That's a critical miss. Critical miss? Oh. On a spell. <laughs> Uh, you didn't cast it off a scroll, so you point your finger at him to do the scorching ray, and as you're doing Sorry, it, I'm not staring light. I said scorching ray. Uh, just a searing light. As you're about to do it, the dragon goes, "Get him!" and moves his hand, knocks your hand into the air, and you fire it directly at the ceiling, causing a small fire. Uh, well, it burns up. Where'd it go, dragon? Which brings us to. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to add the new characters in. Jesus Christ. Definitely still your turn. Go ahead, dragon. All right. Uh, I'm, am I anywhere near this thing? Everything is reachable within 30 feet. Every character in this battle is within 30 feet. I'm going to do a stunning fist. On what? The shiny. Okay. Uh, the shiny is fine. You, because of your increased movement, you can go all the way to the edge of the room and come back in and hit him without provoking attacks of opportunity from any of these new creatures that form. But bear in mind... You're a minus two to dexterity right now because you are drunk. So Ooh. minus one to hit. Not meh. Yeah. So Forget minus one to hit. It's not a big deal. Forget about it. All right. All right. So you're doing stunning fist for your attack? Yeah. All right. Roll the hit. Plus seven minus two, right? Plus attack bonus on there. Minus two. Uh, it would be no minus two. That's a minus, minus one. one. Minus oh. only one. Oh, yeah. But then also plus four for the glitter dust. Correct. So like 23. 23 is a hit. Uh, that if I remember correctly, my will save was 15, right? 15 is will save, yeah. Uh, it was 10 plus half your character level plus your wisdom modifier. That was the 15? Mm-hmm. Okay. <coughs> you drunkenly stand up from the chair. Push yourself off the chair, running to the wall, using your momentum to matrix run three steps against the wall, and as you come down, your fist comes down right into his forehead, and you can feel the crack as he goes down like a sack of fucking potatoes. hi he is on the... hi hi <laughs> I learned that in Dragon School. Dragon School. The cobalt falls to the ground, watching the drunken master. Uh, as he falls, he you hear the sound of rock against rock as two of the creatures turn towards you, taking a few <coughs> steps and approaching you. Uh, Tarbin, the other one is going to you because I would assume you're the farthest. I'm staying far away. Yep. I'm not throwing stones at stones. <laughs> Tarbin, uh, this is the same size as you, is the size of this uh, this creature made of rock. Okay, okay. Yeah. Not my thing. Yep. Uh, as it walks up to you, it literally, you watch its two arms, it takes a step, both of its arms coming up, and just slamming together, trying to catch you between them. What's your AC? Uh, 19. His head slammed together, you take a jump back, but you, your body moved quick enough. Your arm did not. Bam! And both the hands hit you at the same time crushing your arm between them. Not enough to break it, but definitely enough to do some damage. And in fact, that damage, if I can find my damn dice. Tarbin, take nine points of damage as the creature slams both of its, uh, uh, both of its fists into you. Xander, I'm sorry, oh, god damn it. Shaka, two of them come to attack you. They are not smart enough to flank you, but you're, and you're too smart to let them do it, uh, just out of, uh, you're not going to let them do that to you. So they're both uh, kitty corner to you. The first one swings at you. What's your AC? What's my what? AC. Um, mouse up. 16. <clears throat> Subtract one for the dex banner. Correct. Uh, so 15, I guess. 15? Mm-hmm. The first one brings both of its hands the same way as the last one, slams them into your body. Mm-hmm. The second one attacks. He does the same thing, but this one's swing. Like, you saw this one coming in. You had to let it hit you to prevent the other one who was going through your head. You let the other one hit you just so you can duck underneath this. One of them does succeed in hitting four. Oh, shit. Fifteen points of damage as his oh, hands sorry. slam into both of your sides. You definitely feel a rib cracking. Uh, okay. At least I don't know. All right. Back to the top of the order. 
Uh, I will... Twitch, your turn. Uh, have my loot appear. All right. Out of absolutely nowhere, you see Twitch reach up into the sky, and as he brings his hand down, a shimmering loot comes out of absolutely nowhere in the perfect form to be played. Strum. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but these bowlers will never hurt you. And uh, I will use Inspiring Courage on our, on our party. Okay, so the three of you get... Uh, we will get do, 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 plus one for a morale bonus on saving throws. Okay. Uh, against Charm and Fear Effects, plus one morale bonus on attack and, wep- uh, attack and uh, weapon damage rolls as well. Okay, so, so plus one hit, plus one damage for our party. Okay. Strum. 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 Including myself, too, so I can actually do a point of damage. Yay! Yeah. Okay. But that's my turn. Strum. Strum. All right. You guys, uh, the music goes out. His wonderful strumming poem inspires you, and you feel like you will have less of a hard time of destroying these terrible creatures. Uh, that goes to him. The uh, creature laying on the ground, you're having trouble seeing any of his features, but he has not moved at all. Uh, Tarbin. Uh, I'm going to axe the stone thing in the stony face. You're going to axe the stone in the stony face. All right. Actually, no. I'll, yeah, I'll probably try to, like, chop down at his legs. And not, not actually knock him over, but I'm attacking his legs. Okay, you're going for the legs. Gotcha. Two attacks. Okay, full attack action. Go ahead. Uh, that's going to be 29. Hit. <coughs> that's 23. Hit. Two hits. They have plus one and plus one. Yeah. Nine and five is 14 plus... 12 is 26. All right, so on your first swing, you see him stepping forward to make its next attack on you because it's a lot of weight. It has to put its best foot forward. As it's going for the next attack on you, you swing down low and take out its leg. You take out its leg. You feel your axe bite. You turn it and that leg shatters, which puts it down to what would be one knee, except it doesn't have one knee. And you just use that momentum to come back down and crack it right down the middle. And you watch that crack as it turns into a pile of small pebbles. Bitches! Ammunition! (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Jaka, you're next. How many things are around me? There are two of these rock things. And an unconscious Dumb. creature covered in blood. Yeah, I can't. If I, if I detected like how much HP or energy it has left, um, that would be a turn itself. Uh, okay, so uh, you you know how that spell works? By that, that spell you're talking about doesn't tell you how much it has left. It gives you an idea of how where they're at between fully healed and dying. Uh, you know they're fully healed because you haven't hit them yet. Okay. Right, so that will not help you in this scenario. Alright, uh, help me out. What's the most damage I can do with uh, the things I have? Probably flurry. I mean, yeah, flurry. You're, you're... Let me do flurry of blows. Okay. There we go. I'm going to, uh, this the first time I actually use my staff. So, I've had the staff this entire time. Yes, and... you have. <laughs> yeah, he's had a staff on his back. So you, basically, you watch him as you take a step back from the one that did hit you, reaching over your shoulder and plur- pulling out the staff of the flurry. You can uh, do the rest of the description because I love your weapon. Okay. Uh, I, I said flurry only with fists. Unleash it. No, uh, no, 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 you can use a most specific weapon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I so click it, and it turns into a three-part staff, and I start walloping the shit out of him. <laughs> so... Waffle, 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 waffle. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Right. What looked like a one solid staff, you click the two ends, and now you are able to get a total of three attacks on it. Uh, Mouse will basically use his at, unarmed strength. And minus one, plus one for the song, so. Correct. Plus one for the song. With three attacks, you see where, it, where it's at, right? <coughs> Perfect. Give me numbers. Seven, uh, twelve. Twelve. The first hit bounces off this massive uh, stone body. One. The second hit, you jam him with the staff. That's going to do some damage. And the third hit? Is it down one now for the third hit? No, it should all be the same for a month. Okay. Uh, and then that is another plus it's for 13. 13. So the two, the first and the last hit, you actually hit against its arms into solid, solid stone. But that third hit, you or that, that second hit, you knew exactly what you were doing. You jammed him with the, the front of it. One of those hits hits. Go ahead and roll damage on one. Uh, which one? The so that would be D6. D6, D6 plus his strength. Okay. Plus three, plus one. Perfect. Perfect. Nope. Uh, eight, nine, nine, 
Nine damage. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Uh, you dig the staff into where basically you see a crevice in him, a crack in him. You dig the staff in, and as you do your flurry, you take out a huge chunk of his body. He's still going, but you can see he's less of what he was before. Uh, it is now their turn. They are both going to continue their attack on you, but they are not smart enough to flank you. So they continue as they were. The first one takes his swing. And bringing his hands together once again, the one that you just damaged, slams you right in the torso. His friend goes, looks like it's going high this time, but knows what you're going to do. So as you duck, try and use the same move as before, he slams into almost the same place on your torso, to giving you two hits. Jesus Christ. I might be in trouble. Oh, I have to that. For 18 points of damage oh between the two of them. Oh boy. Uh, you feel the right side of your body where they're doing the most damage. You have cracked ribs. You are having a lot of trouble breathing right now. Yeah. Luckily, you're training. You know how to handle pain. You know this is going to hurt you, but right now, you can handle yourself for this fight. Uh, you're going to need some serious help afterwards. I know. Which brings I'm us a to healer. Brings us to the top of the order, which goes over to Twitch. Your turn. Um, I am also. Well, I'm gonna, well, wait. With the positioning, would I be able to get around the room to him, avoiding uh, uh, Rocky Rocky Balboa <laughs> yes. over here? Yeah, you have thirty foot movement. Or no, you have twenty foot movement. I am. I am I'm still gonna say yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I yeah. want to be able to get, basically, use him as a shield and cast healing. Him. Healing is touch. Yes, that's why I need to touch him. That's okay. Oh, hold on, you're okay. casting healing on... Okay, so you're going to try to... Um, the yes, the, there is a place behind. for you to go to cast healing on him that they cannot hit you in. However, uh, you will be standing right next to the unconscious creature, so if he wakes up, you are definitely in his range. Absolutely. Okay, yes, you can do I'm that. Willing to take that. I'm willing to take that risk, and in fact, I will cast Cure Serious Wounds. Cast Cure Serious Wounds? Which is that's what level? Uh, third and three D eight plus your level. Three D eight. And it doesn't get your you don't get access to the maximized one or anything. It just says right. your serious wounds, right? right. Yeah, it's uh, conjuration spells. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yes. Three D eight plus your level. There you go. And I am level six, so you gonna get healed, boy. Yeah. Not really. Uh, yeah. I can always heal myself if I need to. You call upon your art, you start to channel the magic, you build it up in your hand, forming this beautiful glue, blue glow as you reach out and almost do what you would do to an enemy, but stopping right before you. His strike stopping right before your body, his hand not moving, but the healing energy flowing into you, healing you for 20, 20 points of damage. Got you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, down on the ground. Down to the ground, the creature is more unconscious than he was before because I am the king of ones. I will take it. He is still unconscious. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, which goes to Turbin. Can I move Turbin. to, to, move to flank the uninjured one? Can you move to flank the uninjured one? Because yes. he's striking the yes, injured or um, Jocker, right? And because I move, I only get my one attack. Correct. All right. One attack, power attack, the full five. The full five? Okay, so and don't forget you get plus two for flanking. Right, plus so two it's actually eight. plus three. So my uh, first hit would go to a uh, 14, I'm which I'm only getting plus 9. So oh, everything plus five. I will help okay. <laughs> 17 plus 9. 17 plus 9 is a hit. You're using the Dwarven Batwax, right? Yeah. Okay, you can see it because you just felt that healing energy hit you in the back. All you can see is right behind this creature that is his height that was totally blocking him for a moment. An axe raise out of nowhere <laughs> and come crashing down to deal. Don't forget your extra plus oh, five for power attack. Fourteen. And okay. plus and one plus damage one. and plus for... Fifteen. Fifteen. And Sixteen, you seventeen. You said this was the uninjured. Right. Seventeen damage. The axe comes down and almost for a second looks like it's going to be stuck in his body from the force you put into that. But then you hear him go, no! And put his foot on the elemental and pull his axe away using his foot as leverage. Because you're an ass. That would go over to Jaka. Your turn. All right. Uh, who's left? As far, er, there are there's two one elementals top? smashing your head. Yes, they are yes. both within. <laughs> Literally. I mean, you were drinking ale. They were having dragon on the rocks. Kill, kill out. Ah, <laughs> ah, God, God, you were waiting for that one. That was good. <laughs> that was good. 
That's actually, I'm giving you all bonus experience. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's trying good. to kill the one that's damaged. What do you think, Shady? They're both kind of. Uh, you know, uh, by your training, Stung you know, armor. Stunning Fist will not hurt elementals. Sure. I understand I have that. Metabolism. I, I would. The one that Dwarfy that just. Or, or you go full defensive. You can take a full defensive action. Plus four to your AC. Which might help you because one of them is going to smash you on their turn. You could go full defensive and give me another round to take them out. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. Uh, triple strike on the one that you were hitting before, right? Yep. Go ahead. I'm going to do that. All right. Once again, he takes the plus amazing one. staff that can fold over itself. Yeah. Thirteen. Fourteen plus. Because I get you plus, plus one. I can't plus. Do Six, but then minus one because he has one less dex. Yes. So, so 19. 19 is a hit. 19, okay. Okay. Oof. Oh, Ooh. one. Is that a one? Uh, okay, so quick foul. So all that happens in my game, I don't penalize you other than your turn is over, but your first hit still hits. Okay. So you do strike it once with the staff. So you swing the staff that you have in trifolded position. You swing it at him, bringing both sides in to smack it in the sides of what could be its head. Roll. Four, one, one. Four plus strength plus one. Eight. Eight. Die! You, you bring in both sides to hit it in the head, and as you do that, it brings up both hands, <clears throat> knocking the staff almost out of your hands. Going up in the air, you manage to catch it by one end, but by that time, you are so off balance that you know you need to reset yourself instead of attacking. Your turn ends, it is their turn. The one that you attack, immediately. It's not so much that it turns around, it's that Just, the joints don't right. need to go this way anymore, now they're going this way. <laughs> I got the mental that. Oh, that's awesome. And the what one that was attacking you, the one that just knocked the thing out of your hand, its arms are already in the, it's the air. They're the both position. coming straight down for your head. Xander's attack is first. And they slam into your head. I had the worst luck. No, I've, uh, I'm actually rolling decent against you. Yeah, you do have the worst luck. Love you. Uh, for 12 points of damage as both right. hands come creaming down on you. Uh, the one that was right here this hitting him, the hands come back around <laughs> to try to slam into you. 19. Huge, big mess. 19? You literally do a little bit of a matrix action. As you duck backwards, you feel the Let's breeze that, that you never thought yeah, you should. That's 20 times three. Uh, you feel breeze you never thought you should. Two rocks slamming together right in front of your face as I missed you by one. <laughs> this is unnatural! Uh, which brings us back to the top of the round. Uh, so we go back to... Uh, I'm going to learn everyone's name. Twitch. So down to Cobalt. Laying right next to you. He was reaching for a wand. No, he was reaching for the pouch that he threw up Threw-o- to the ceiling okay. that summoned these things. Okay. Um, is he still invisible? He's down. I'm uh, gonna, yes, but he is glowing because of the. Yeah, group. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. He's down. I'm gonna try to coop to ground. Take a to ground. take a dagger and just. Uh, you are. Ne- yeah, you can totally do that. Uh, it's automatic critical. Roll for damage. I, I, I do not want to deal with. Yep. Get up and has more bag of tricks. Uh, well, let's get the dagger. So. Six. Uh, critical time two. So. Three. Half. So two. So two. Well, um, two minus one. Right, and then I get the one for extra damage for me. Oh yeah, that's still going. So it's a two, uh, so okay. four total. Four points. Of da- uh, he is totally prone. Your sneak attack damage counts. I'll get sneak attack. I'm a bard. Right, you're not prone. Okay, <laughs> four points. Of damage. I love that. I just saw a coup de gras. It's only four points of damage. Absolutely. Yeah, that was his crit. Halfling crit. <laughs> <laughs> so coup de gras, your damage gets added to the fortitude saving throw. This is a two. You stabbed him in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's dead. Very dead. You're aware that he's dead, and you're happy about it. Uh, I will stop trying to get him to wake up. That was disappointing. <laughs> Tarbin, your turn. Can I take a five foot step to be between the two golems? They were kitty corners, so yes, you could have them five both in your Five foot step, one attack on both, power attacking on both. Woo! Yeah, yeah, you can do, absolutely do that. All right. So the first, the, one's the first be... one is the one that was attacking you or him. Uh, the one I almost killed last round. When you okay, go ahead and roll. So let me double check real quick. So is it still flanked? No. You are okay, no so longer flank. flanking. So it's plus twelve plus seven. I'm subtracting five. It's gonna be plus seven plus two. Okay. 
Total? 13. 13 is a miss on the one yeah. that you hit last time. And 12. And miss Whoa. on the one that you hit last time. Whoa. I tried. <laughs> you did try. I tried. Oh, boy. Oh, they can't all be home runs. Oh, Jaka, your turn. Driving on the smish unless he kills his thing. Kill it. Kill it. Gods, help me. What? Kill it. <laughs> Just do a regular attack or what? Uh, Flurry again. It's your best attack. Yeah, best attack. do a full Or do a full defensive in case they, one of them attacks you again. Yeah, and it I adds a big number to your AC. <coughs> one could. more round and I should be able to do it. I should have a power attack. I, 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 should I heal you know, myself maybe? Uh, you know, you're going to cause them to uh, get attacked. No, I, I, no because, supernatural ability. Uh, no. Oh. Uh, he's not talking about his monk healing, oh. but I will say you also know because elementals are magical, they do not contain the intelligence to take an attack of opportunity. You could cast your spell and they will not do anything okay. against you. Or you can attack them. Totally up to you. Damn. I don't know if I can take that much more, so... I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna Things that never hurts from Sanders' mouth. Shut up! <laughs> wow. So how much would I need to cure... Uh, tell me which spell that you want to cast, and I'll tell you how much it does. Like 25 is much. About 25, you want at least the third level spell, and that's not going to do 25. Well, Chances are. I have a level 3. I have a level 3 curious yeah, series. And you have to memorize? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. yeah, absolutely. That's 3d8 plus your level. Uh, and uh, Miko, it doesn't say mass or anything next to it, it's just curious series. Yeah. yeah. 3d8 oh, plus your level. Ones. Yeah, some some of you have better healing than the rest okay, because so of your 3D8, school. Three D eight, you said. Three D eight. Yeah. Uh, it's the pure double pyramid. Yeah. Okay. I don't know my dice. It's no, don't worry about that. Never worry about that. Six, Six plus. It's not a nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a D eight center. Oh, Six. roll good it two point. more times. Six plus seven. seven. Thirteen. Nice. Thirteen plus. Three. 16, 16 plus your level. 22 points of healing. Very All good. right, I'll take that. Okay, now it's their turn. The same one that attacked you last time. This time it's not going to bang both fists. It's literally because its arms are just an extension. Its no, it's going to just start spinning around, uh, trying to hit you by moving a step closer. It's like Karate Kid 2. The drum in Karate Kid 2. You said 2. 19, right? Huh? You said 19? Yeah. And you're holding your shield, right? Yeah. This thing, there's no way it's not going to hit you, but you're training. You bring up your shield. And the noise that it makes just from hitting that is a resounding noise. And it almost distracts you for a second as the other one attacks. But not distracted enough as you use your monk abilities to literally jump back, yeah. hit the wall, and use the wall to spring back for your next attack. Uh, Twitch, your turn. I am... going to see if I can get away with this one here. I'm to check the distance on something. No problem. Uh, there is... Uh, the, the distance shouldn't come into it. You're within like 10 feet of all nope, those guys. Okay. Not what I'm worried about. Understood. Okay. Because friendly fire is a thing. Uh, if you think it'll take you too long to look up, you can delay your turn to let one of them go and then go after them. Just so you know. Yeah, let the... Well, him to go? These guys. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll postpone. No, that that's perfect. That, and that's guys. That's what if you're ever thinking, like, uh, just delay your turn until you figure it out. I'm gonna split my attacks. No power attack this time. No power attack this time. All right, you split your attacks first. The one that you were attacking. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is a hit. Now the one that's attacking Xander. Twenty-three. Hit, hit. First one that was attacking you. Seven, eight. Total of eight. Yeah. He is dusting from the oh, eye. Oh, motherfucker. Do one point of eye. damage to this guy. Ah. Is that and the one Xander is working on takes ten. Ten? Uh, that one, as you bring your axe down on its body, once again, if your axe gets stuck, you put your foot on it, and all of a sudden you're having a little bit of trouble seeing, because as he pulls his axe off, it's almost as if all the pebbles just hit you as the body loses the magic that's holding it together and explodes into your face. Nice. Uh, I will ask once, Twitch. are you ready to go? Stab it with your dagger. It has one body. I will, I will forego what I was thinking of doing. It would have been cool to use that the crazy echo off his shield for sound burst off of that. Oh, yeah. yeah but that is, that is. that's a radius effect, and I kind of like my friends, so I will just whip a dagger at the very, very wounded... Uh, and you have more than one dagger on you because one of them is sticking yeah, yeah. out of the wall. That's two. fine. That's all I need. No, I have two well. daggers and uh, a sling. Well, I could use a sling actually. I just use a sling. Perfect. Throw that dagger and two plus nine is eleven plus one twelve. Nope. Uh, it bounces off his body. Uh, the possible last turn. Jaka, your turn. 
stab him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Punch, 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 punch. I guess I'm punching people. Kick, <laughs> punch. <laughs> it's all in the mind. You literally <laughs> quickly <laughs> fold up the, the try and fold yeah. staff, put it on your back, and come around with just your fists for two or three attacks. Sure, you can. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's a dragon punch. Are you dragon doing, punch! Are you doing flurry or just the two attacks? Two you have attacks. a better chance of hitting with the two yep. attacks. Good move. Go ahead and roll. Six plus one. Six plus you hit all the things for me. Yeah. Six plus seven minus one plus one, so six plus thirteen. Thirteen? So their first hit, you hit solid rock, but it doesn't hurt your hand because you know how to deal with that second attack. Yeah, there we go. Dead. The second attack, you ha- keep your fist there, and you literally just go, boop! Yeah. And as you open your hand, you throw the rocks right back on him as the thing explodes. Oh, the you bring up the shield over your face, and it all hits you in the crotch. It's a large shield shield, and I'm a dwarf. You, re- you went a little Got high. you in the ding-dong. And that, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, is what we call rock music. And I'm going to go get my Oh, pictures. no. <laughs> all right. And right as that happens, right as all the rocks go everywhere, the two of you walk into the bar to see a glowing, sparkly kobold laying on the ground and a bunch of piles of rocks and him getting hit in the nope, ding-dong. Nope, I guys, this is not my fault! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, and the ceiling is on fire. Yeah. I oh, not I go get the repairs. That's my fault! <laughs> yeah. I forgot about the ceiling being on fire. You can create water, the greatest fuel in the game, fix that. <laughs> Mend it! Mend the thing! I need the boots. I get the guy's boots and... You go walk over to his... You're wearing boots so you can't put them over it. I was gonna return him to the jerk. Bootception. What? I was gonna return him to the dark elf, the dark dwarf. Uh, You see her behind the tavern, holding him. She's got... He's got his head in her lap, mumbling... She just looks at you. They're yours. They were (laughs) stolen by the assailants. Please keep them. As she looks down at what him, are they? Huh? she goes, I don't know, but I know that uh, uh, Kabar made him for him. Kabar made them for this fucker when he was trying to help us, and he's a piece of shit. They're yours now. Screw this drunk louse. Oh, I can throw him outside. I don't care what you do with them, but he just lost them to whatever just attacked this building. Also, is the fire put out yet? I look over the bar. Is the fire out yet? No, no one said anything. I can't. Search the friggin' lizard and see how that's like, especially as No, the fire's not out yet. Please, I, I, I can't reach the ceiling. <laughs> there is an entire half a barrel of ale that he's been soaking his feet in. Could you throw it up there, please? I'm not wasting good ale. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> it's gonna feed it. I have foot ale. It's just flavor. Not helpful in this situation. <laughs> what do you I do? grab the Druger and toss him outside. Then you grab the Druger and toss him outside. He goes flying from the tent. She stands up, goes running into the kitchen, comes back with a mop bucket of water, and throws it up onto the ceiling. Looks at all of you and goes, I thought you were heroes! Yeah, we killed the bad guys. And then she looks at the three pile of rocks. I'll call it a draw. And just walks back into the kitchen. Um, You were searching on the uh, elementals. The the kobold was my focus. Yep, you searched the kobold. On the kobold. Uh, now that you, you really can't see, so it takes you forever to search him. He's basically uh, not wearing much, but he does have a belt around his uh, waist. And one of the items, you do find three pouches on this belt. Uh, uh, along that? with the pouches, you find uh, two daggers. I was right down Four down daggers. Down. Four daggers? I was writing down the other Oh, no, two daggers. And then what? Two Belt. pouches? Three Belt. pouches? Belts, three pouches, two daggers. What's in the pouches? Should I just write down three pouches? Uh, they are invisible uh, because the spell has not worn off yet. Okay, so I'll write three pouches. Hey, uh, on the rock elementals, you basically find pellets. I think you. Bullets! Yep, I think you. Okay. Yeah. Um, We're going to skip forward just a little bit. And Wait, I saw... I wa- where's the tavern key? Uh, Caleb is not there. Nella comes back out, starts sweeping. We're gonna just slip, skip ahead just a little bit for another mm-hmm. five minutes. Uh, finally, the pouches come into focus for you. Uh, there are two leather pouches. Uh, both of them, one of them filled with coin, one of them filled with white sand, and a third one, a purple pouch. Okay, so what's the coin? The coin in the pouch 
Spoke out true dwarf. <laughs> What's the coin pouch? Eight platinum. Oh shit. Fuck. So divided by three? Alright. Alright. <laughs> what? Eight platinum. Okay. And a purple pouch, which, guys, I'm gonna let you discuss for a little bit. I need to regret something that I forgot. Uh -oh. You guys are able to talk. Don't run anything over. Can one of you guys identify one of these groups there? You can identify some stuff. I can I do that. I don't yeah. need time to do it. That's hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I right away, but I have that ability to use. So we have a purple pouch, right. this white sand, which I can only imagine might be a component, but I really don't know. I can identify. And then these dwarf boots. What do we identify? These are clearly something unique. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. As I identify the boots or the, the pur what's ever in the purple pouch, you should see what's inside there. Yeah. But yeah, I can totally do that. All right. Good. So I will do that. <laughs> of course, you know. Yeah, right. tell us what said thing is, but yes. Right. What else uh, do we I have to... I should be able to identify too, actually. We have the pouch of sand, the purple pouch, and the dwarf boot. Okay. But it's your covers combined. Yeah, <laughs> all the things. Yeah, the purple pouch. Actually, actually you know what? That, guy, that douche was a... I'm going to go shake down and take, take whatever coins on that dwarf, too. Like, he has any coins. He probably does. Dwarves don't usually like to be broke. Don't shake people down! Right. We got a good guys. No, we're not. We, we got a we got, right, we got a counter or good deed earlier. Yeah, that's that's. I'm still itching for that good deed. Like, but they don't owe us for that good deed. That's not how the world works. Look, you're a philosophical monk. I really don't care. Oh wow, <laughs> I'm neutral, baby. Uh huh. I'm just saying. Uh, Elkadan. Yo. Elkadan. So. I'm gonna go back outside to the drunk dwarf and take whatever else he's got that's good. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> yeah. Right? You gotta balance out our karma. All right, you run outside to the dwarf. Mostly coin, but if he's got a cool looking weapon, I'll take that too. Jesus. Uh, you, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. You made a new enemy. Yeah. It's always fun when you nemesis. On him you find Get you next time. seven gold. Two silver, four four copper. Well, I can't argue. Um, he has Jeez. a dagger that at first, when you pull it out, uh, the weight is all off, and you then realize uh, why the weight's off. You are the weaponsmith. I'm not crazy, right? Uh, you realize but, why yes, the weight's off. But yes. Um, this weight would be perfect if it was filled with the liquid that it has channels inside the blade for. So, uh, poisoning dagger? It is a poisoning dagger, but it is empty right now. And that's all? Nothing else good on him? Nothing else that you care about. You could take stuff, but it'd be almost worthless and just, uh... Yeah, no. Embarrassing. Okay. And, uh, that purple pouch you said. Yeah, what's in the pouch? The purple pouch. Mm -hmm. Uh, you open the purple pouch. Uh, the purple pouch only opens as big as this cup. So, you can kind of get your hand in I there. I give it to the halfling. I go jump inside the purple pouch. <laughs> uh, you I put your hand in, point. and you feel your hand basically go all the way inside. Is it a oh, it's an otter. Got it. It's not outer space. I imagine that's probably a light bag of holding. A little bit holding, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pouch of holding. Good. Um, the weird thing about a pouch, if it was a normal bag of holding, you'd be able to reach in and start pulling out random things because you don't know what's in there. Uh, this one's not working like that. You're reaching in and you're finding nothing. The other thing you're noticing is a bag of holding, usually you'd be able to open. No, this is only this big. You're able, you're able to get your arm in there. You being as big and burly as you are as the dwarf, you can't get your hand there. You could maybe get a finger in there, um, which I need at this point a use magical device. Nice. Uh, uh, whoever's got the highest roll at the table, if anyone put points into it for some reason, you get to roll. If not, I'm just looking for one roll. You guys get to decide who's going to inspect it. I have no points in that. So use the best modifier. I By the way, a, you're going to add your level to I this one. I have roll. a lot of points in it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. So they add their level and their points? If you put points into it, but the only people who could is people that would like a bar who could. 26. 26? Uh, this is a rare item indeed. You know this as a pixie pouch. Okay. Uh, pixie pouches are bags of holding. They can carry up to 500 pounds, but you can damage them by trying to open them up too much. And also, 
When reaching in, drawing anything from them is a quick action, as long as you say what you're pulling out. And did you get above a 25? You said 26? 26. You know that you could empty the entire bag by turning it inside out right now. You'll just empty it right onto the floor. Do this it. Is the item. Do it. Oh, yeah, I'll give it to you later. Later, later. What's I will. What's Shad in it? Shad I, what's in the pouch? What's in the what's pouch? What's in the pouch? What's in the pouch? Ta-da! You turn it inside out. Another call. There's another call. <laughs> <laughs> Dibs. Back in the hammer space. Uh, you turn it inside out, and inside of it right now, you find a, another small pouch, which was by looking into it, you find three pearls. Uh, the pearls immediately. Uh, I gotta get better at you guys' names. The suck. Jaka, you immediately recognize these pearls. You don't even need to appraise them. These are identifying pearls. They are probably worth almost exactly 100 gold apiece. They are identifying pearls. Uh, and a basically a mirror with a silver frame on the outside of it. Scrying, maybe? Probably. Uh, once again, you take one look at that mirror that is definitely used for some kind of divination, mm. possibly communication. Oh, okay. I really relay this information. <laughs> uh, the the way out of obviously flip the bag back. You flip it back, and now it's normal like a normal pixie. Is pouch. the uh, the rim on it big enough for uh, my size daggers to fit in? Your size daggers, yes. yes. One of the rules right. would be nothing with a cross guard or things sticking out of it. Right. A staff can go in, a sword can pass. Right. Just start filing it. Filing daggers anyway, don't have to be able to cross guard too, so someone will have to. Just start filling with 500 pounds of rock, then all of a sudden, poof, wall of rock in front of you. Okay. Like, seriously, think about it. You, you put the, the crumbs of this. No, no, no. no I'm not staring at you because of the ridiculous idea. I'm staring at you because of the genius. <laughs> <laughs> because I have about 500 pounds of rock. Right there. Laying in front of and, me. Uh, and those piles of stones would be perfect to give you some. I will begin filling up the... I Can we sell the for, rock for You are anything? putting 500 pounds of rock. 500 pounds, but... <laughs> oh, okay. You, it takes, it'll literally take oh, thank you an hour. I, I fully anticipate. Hey guys, I won't be in Put the minute. pixie pouch on your sheet. There is a small halfling sitting cross leg on the floor, putting handfuls of what used to be stone elementals into a small rim it's pouch. It's going to get awkward if it wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you have a pixie pouch filled with. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking of remember that rock elemental. Of course. Remember that old game scorched earth. Yeah. And you had the dirt bomb you could shoot. We have a dirt bomb. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Um, could one of you guys ID the boots? Oh yeah. Wait. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Shut up. I can I identify. Uh, you do. Dude, don't worry about it. You're new to the game. I, yes. I'm, I'm, you're actually catching on way faster right. than any right. To, you have any right. Yeah, right. right. All right. No, you I are. Identify the boots, and that's a level one spell. Gonna cost you a had pearl. it memorized, and it will cost a pearl. All right. So Xander goes behind the bar, kind of like he owns the place. <laughs> grabs a goblet, pours himself some wine out of one of the we casks. Saved the place. Why not? Grabs the pearl in his hand, begins casting the spell, and as you cast it, you can feel the pearl turn into powder, slowly falling out of your hand to fill the goblet. And as it fills the goblet, the sweet wine in there becomes this milky white, and you finally doubt it while staring at the boots. And the innate skill that you have just awakened in you lets you know that you are witnessing what are known as Kabar's Boots of the Battlemaster. Okay. They are transmutation boots. This is what they do. Uh, the solid pair of leather boots with runes dyed into the heels. If you looked at the bottom, you would see the runes dyed in the heels. They give you the feat battle awareness, which means whenever you roll initiative, you roll 2d20 and take the best roll. Uh, and one time a day, you get uh, the spell transpose, which lets you switch the spot with a willing target as a quickened spell, you nice. just tap the heels together. Ooh. Psst, psst. You guys mind? Be you do, right? Huh? You throw me. Yeah, and then we swash spots. spots. Yeah. <laughs> you guys mind if I take the boots? Go for it. We'll call you, we'll call you Dorothy, though. And I'm just letting you know. Oh, no. So, boots of the battle master? Oh, no. Boots of the, uh, here it is, right here. This is all the information. Right. 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 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I just thought of a local joke, too, which is funny, because it says, uh, restrictions, size of a softball. Yeah. Bag opening about the size of softball. Should we talk about, like, 16-inch or Chicago 12-inch? What are we? I hate local humor so here. Are we talking about softball humor? You did take tumble, right? So when I toss you, you won't die. Oh, Jesus. You better transpose me so I can just chill, all right? You better toss him more than, uh, the, his movement per round so that it goes back to your turn. Oh, my God. You guys, guys and even on things with spell check, you're horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's a standard. Not standard. Standard. You guys find yourself standing in the tavern. He's kneeling on the ground. I'm sorry, sitting cross-legged, putting rocks into a bag. The Durgar is laying out in the dust. And the door opens up. And then walks a gentleman that you all recognize for his dinner. One leg dragging limply behind him. Barely able to put any weight. What? <laughs> what are you doing? We what? need to talk to this guy. I'm going to knock him out. And you just punch him. Yeah, okay. I just, said throw a hammer, but I'll punch oh, him. Oh, is that what you do? You throw I'll a hammer? I'll punch him instead. That's better. Okay. And you punch him. And that's where we're going to end this session. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Who did you punch again? The Gimpy. Oh, Jesus. Okay. He All right. The guy we wanted to talk to. He punched a Gimpy. <sighs> the last thing before we end is Nilla, the young tavern wench, <laughs> coming back out of the kitchen. Looking at her scorched ceiling, looking at the rocks that you are carefully and meticulously putting one at a time into a pouch. The two of you who have just returned from your errand, holding a wanted poster that looks unlike any other wanted poster out there. A gash in the wall from where a dagger had struck it. And you, holding a collapsible three-sided staff, looking down at this gentleman while drinking wine that you have just stolen... Staring at a pair of boots. And then you punch a patron. <laughs> Guys, this has been Dungeons and Dragons. Let's do our outro starting over here. Good night, everybody. I am Dusty. I'm Playing is Twitch. I'm Miko. I'm Xander as Jaka. John is Tarbin. Mackie is Ashton. I'm your DM, Alkali. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Good night. Wow.